This is a raccoon that I have been passing by for a few days now and I've decided to cut his head off because I don't have a raccoon skull in my collection. I'm gonna spare you the horror. Let's put some uh, gloves on. Okay, let's go. This is fourth grade elementary school math and I struggle with it. I'm not joking. The chicken has been sitting in the bucket for three weeks now. So let's see how it looks. So the water is much more yellow than previous time. But other than that, I don't see any significant difference. I will remove the skin now using my surgical tools here. You see the fascia here. It looks the same in humans. Here we have the subcutaneous layer, which is just a layer of fat. That's the fat separated. This is some kind of a nerve here. That's the skin. It's not as flexible as it was before. I can try to scrape a bit of fat here. It holds nicely. The human fat is much more yellow. I will leave the skin here to dry so you will see how it will turn into leather. Maybe I'll do something with chicken skin. Although I would need to get rid of this fatty tissue here. We'll see. I'm at my father's place. This is exactly where we were repairing the washing machine. Oh! And I'm going to make some shelves for my display wall in my room. So let's go. This is a store-bought plank. It's it's too perfect for me. I'm going to take off bits and pieces of this with this here and then I'm going to burn it a little bit with this and at the end I'm going to add some color which is a walnut here. So let's get started. Okay, this is the next day. The skin looks like this. It's almost completely transparent. The smell is surprising. It smells it smells a bit like pastry, but I wouldn't recommend eating them. So it's stiff. It's completely stiff and transparent. <laughs> 